Welcome, Mr. Mishra, uh, to the TV GME and also to the conference on standards and uh, emerging technology. Uh, Mr. Mishra Thank is uh, director for National uh, Smart uh, Grid Mission, and we are very happy that you know he'll be sharing his thoughts about the uh, ICT and also about the smart grid. So Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me here. Since you are dealing with the smart grids, you know, and uh, India is a huge country and now we are getting into multiple sources of power coming in mm -hmm. from renewable power and the standard fossil fuel based power supply mm -hmm. uh, and the microgrids are also going to, you know, be deployed now. So how, yes. this, how this entire, you know, it's such a humongous task, you know, for a country like India, how it is going to be managed and what are the big three challenges uh, you people are facing? smart grid and new sources of generation now these these are quite a challenging time for grid company but an exciting time for all electrical engineers mm -hmm. historically grids and grid companies they have been centering around a central generation more and more optimization of generation and then delivering power as and when required to the customer now, a smart grid is an entirely different ball game. Mm -hmm. One has to actually understand that a smart grid, the entire movement is for societies and of course the earth as such for making the temperatures mm -hmm. rise less, less global warming. Those are the primary drives which are giving everyone a reason to, you know, join a smart grid bandwagon. Mm -hmm. Now, this is an area where a smart grids is entirely, you know, not going to be initially successful because it's more of an ICT. Mm. As you increase the expenditure, the rates will go up and users are already not going to take, take it lying down. Mm -hmm. Everybody is now conscious, especially in areas or when they get every day get a feedback that the solar power is available at 2 rupees, 20 yeah. paisa, 2 rupees, 80 paisa, 3 right. rupees. Now they, they can't really go ahead and buy power from grid company at 7 rupees and 8 rupees. Yes. So having seen that market itself collapse, the traditional one, hmm. in terms of the trust being, you know, getting in between utility and consumer. Mm -hmm. It's a big challenge to actually push the smart grids in real sense. And unless there is a redesigning of the market at the level of consumer, grid company, as well as regulator, where there is more price to be paid for reliability, when there is a reward to consumer, who are agreeing or ready to take not only the time of use prices but also interruptions in their services mm -hmm. and as well as there is a more variation in terms of say between the consumers currently the regulator tries to give for entire territory the same rate mm -hmm. so we are already working closely with the regulators and that's what we had discussed just before now that ICT, the collection of data and of course analysis of all those things. That's going to make a big difference in these kind of decisions being taken mm -hmm. tomorrow, not day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the third challenge which I see is making majority of consumer aware that their decision makes a difference mm. in terms of whether they'll everyone pays higher price or everyone pays a competitive price whether their grid is green mm. or 100 percent or 80 percent or 50 percent so these three are the areas where i see the maximum challenge as well as opportunity yeah. for grid companies and people like me mm. to make a difference okay that's great. So, when do you think that you know this uh, smart grid um, will start settling down? Because after all, these uh, challenges are met. The, the technology part is in the initial phase of settling down. Okay. There are more and more renewable energy getting integrated. Mm -hmm. There are 
less and less disturbance and resistance from great company side mm. because they are more confident now market design because of lack of data and analysis there is it is yet to actually pick up in a big way mm -hmm. and we are looking forward to even the startups in terms of those who can go deep, dig deeper and create the value out of the existing data mm -hmm. so that we can have the right market design for ultimate takeoff of a smart grids okay. and as when it comes to consumer the today's activity as well as every activity every medium we are ready to deploy we are deploying and we are hopeful that we we will actually have a movement in less than 3 maximum 5 years where consumers will be more demanding and great company and people like me will have to put their act synchronize and yeah. deliver to yeah. their expectations so the market will decide you know how to move. yes yeah. the consumers Consumer will, will decide. they are going to be more and more conscious mm. and they will be the driving force mm. good thank you mr mishra for sharing your thoughts and i thank think you. you put it in a very nice scripts manner and even person like me could understand you know these challenges so thank you for sharing your thoughts and time thank you yeah